Welcome back to the channel. I was not expecting to make this video today, but the new killer and survivor and the also new map, it all dropped today and they only released the trailer like this morning. So I was not expecting there to be a PTB today. I was going to upload a different Dead by Daylight video today, but I guess that's going to have to be put on hold because we need to play the new killer today. And as you can see, he's kind of tall. And he looks really cool and a little scary. Um, as far as his power goes, his power um, is described as the desire to destroy a weaker bloodline shaped into a literal force. So here's Shimako's Wraith. Absorb blood orbs left by your injured foes. Press and hold the power button to absorb blood orbs in the environment and feel your power gauge. When your power gauge is full, press and hold the act active ability button to initiate blood fury and blood fury is described as while blood fury is active the oni becomes lethal and gains access to additional abilities his demon dash and his demon strike his demon dash in order to use it you press and hold the power button while blood fury is active to perform a demon dash this ability allows the oni to cover large distances rapidly I don't know how far that goes. I don't know if it's similar to the Demogorgon Shred or if it can go a little more far further than that. I have no idea. And then his Demon Strike. Press and hold the attack button while Blood Fury is active to, to perform a Demon Strike in the direction you are facing. Demon Strike has an extended lunge range and successful hits immediately puts healthy survivors into the dying state. I don't know what any of this means. Obviously the PTB just dropped today, just like the trailer, so I haven't seen any gameplay of any of this. So I don't know what any of this means. It sounds like he's a bit deadly though. So we're going to test that out. But as far as his perks go, his first perk is Nemesis. You seek retribution on those who have wronged you. A survivor who blinds or stuns you using a pallet or locker becomes your obsession. Anytime a new survivor becomes an obsession, they are affected by the oblivious state effect for 40 seconds and their aura is shown to you for 4 seconds. The killer can only be assessed one survivor at a time. So I'm not exactly sure what this means. So if somebody, let's say, head on you out of a locker, then that means they automatically become your obsession if they aren't already. But it says they become oblivious. Does that just happen once? I think it does. So, so if they came out the locker, then they'll be oblivious for 40 seconds. And then I think that's it until somebody else becomes the obsession. That's what I'm thinking. As far as the next perk goes, Blood Echo. The agony of one is inflicting on others. When hooking a survivor, all other injured survivors suffer from the hemorrhage status effect until healed and the exhaustion static effect for 45 seconds. So this pretty much counters... Um, them, I don't know, like, <laughs> so their exhaustion is a little longer and they pretty much have like a, a sloppy butcher effect for a little bit. So, I mean, I don't know exactly how useful that's going to be yet. I have to see it in battle with his power. And the last perk, Zanshin Tactics. Unlocks potential in one's or reading ability. You are mentally alert and aware of key points on the battlefield. The auras of all palace and vault locations are revealed to you within a 24 meter range. When a survivor is damaged, a survivor is damaged. I'm guessing that means when they're injured? I don't know. This perk becomes inactive for 40 seconds. I think this just means that if a survivor is injured, you can't see them. But if they're not, then you can see the auras of palace and vaults and stuff like that. Um, I'm guessing that doesn't have a time limit. Because it doesn't seem like it has a time limit. You could just see them at all times in a certain range. I don't know. I'm very confused by all of this. Um, and again, since I didn't know that the PTB would be today, I have no blood points because they're taking it from last week. That was probably like right after I spent it on like a character or something. Because yesterday, I had like 100,000 at least. That would have been helpful. But I don't have anything. So that just kind of sucks. So I don't even know what perk to go in first. We're going to go with this first. Just going to test it a little bit. I don't know what else. I don't have any add-ons. And I can't get anything out of the blood web. So we're just going to have to go in. with. The, why is my, fir my first perk enduring though? Really? But we're just going to have to go in with this. 
and see what happens because I don't have anything. <laughs> but before we get into the first game, if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this in the future. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, first game and we got the new map. So that's, that's nice. Um, I'm a little nervous though because I don't know how, oh I can see the pallet over there. I see the vault over there. Oh, this is kind of like the, um, like Freddy's hand. I don't know what it does. I know it has to build up, but I don't know how it builds up. Well, it, it said blood orbs, right? So is this like a, a stalking power? Do I have to do it with other people? How does this work? I like actually have no idea. Help. <laughs> I'm about to get ran by these survivors because I have no idea how this works. And all these survivors brought in like toolboxes and stuff because there's like a select few of like survivors that take the PTB a little too seriously. Okay, let's see his lunge. Oh, his lunge is kind of fast. Oh, is that how you build it up? I actually, I'm confused. I, what is this? Absorb. Oh, wait, what? She drops blood and you collect it? <gasps> Wait, there's some here. Hey. I know this is PTB, but please stop playing with me. Oh, M5, Blood Fury. Okay, I don't know what any of this means. Actually, I don't care about chasing her. Let's see what it does. This is M1. Oh. Okay. This is M2. Oh my god. That is so far. What? Oh, it got stuck. But what? How long do I stay in this? Can you break a pallet? Yeah. Did she just... You can... I did not look at the survivor's perks. But oh my gosh, she can pick that up? Oh, he has a cooldown. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that cooldown. We do not care about winning this game. Give me that stuff. I, I just wanted the, the stuff, girl. There's some people that just like <laughs> take this uh no. Oh my god, he's fast. But there's some people that take the PTV a little too seriously. Like I don't think there's a need to gen rush into PTV like There's really no reason. Okay, any orbs, any orbs. Yes, give me this. Give me that. And I, I also don't have any add-ons. So the fact that all this stuff can just be this fast. Like his, I, I already forgot what it's called. It's something Fury. That lasted so long. Give me this. Oh, give me, oh my God. Okay, we're gonna try to do the M1 hit on her. I don't know if we'll get it. Wait, stay still, please. Cooperate, cooperate. Okay, we got it. I wish I could've tested that on someone who wasn't injured. That was interesting though. 
It's almost up though. Oh no, it is up. I guess it automatically goes up if you use the M1 power. Someone over here? Ooh, blood. What, like, does this blood come from if they're injured? I'm not exactly sure how this works. But look at how much that goes up from just that random blood. Like, what? What? I, like, basically have no perks. No, um, add-ons. Okay, I don't want you, but you got some blood for me. It's... I'm literally just getting blood, bro. I don't even want you. Oh, this is a weird placement for a basement. Oh, my. It's so open. Oh, give me all this blood. No, let me use my thingy. I want to use my... I want to try out the... um. Whatchamacallit. I want to try to dash on someone. Please. I beg of you. <laughs> I'm a baby killer, please. Please. Oh, here's Hatch. But please. I'm a baby killer. I wonder how big his tear radius is. I actually don't know. He has a cool um, ability. I just gotta get used to it. This was really like my, my very, very first playthrough. It took me a while to even find this lobby. I have no blood points to get any add-ons or anything. See, it's just blood here. What, what brings this blood? Oh my god. Oh, she's testing her perk. Just, just go ahead and get out. Because I already got to wait long for, um... Ooh, give me this blood. Give me more of this blood. The hatch is right here. Can I close it in time? Oh, that's some big feet. That was, um... See, I'm not even on this challenge anymore. This was like a week ago. <laughs> I have a couple blood points. We might be able to get something, but I don't know. But let's go to the next game because that was really fast because they kind of they kind of gin rushed me a little bit. But let's go to the next game. Okay, second game. I don't know how we're going to do. We still have no perks or add- I mean, I got one little add-on, but... Can I only absorb if they're injured? I think that is the case. Um, he has decent speed. So I guess we're like forced to find someone first. Here's someone. Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit. No orbs there. But she's giving me, giving them to me here. Ooh. I got an add-on that, like, gives it to me slightly, and this, like, d does more than slightly, I would say. Well, she ran in front of me, so. Okay, we're doing decent, I guess. Uh, here we go with the gender rushing. Like, it's, it's just the PTB, people. Test out your perks. Like, I don't understand when people get into PTB just to, like, gender rush and leave immediately. Because it's like, as Survivor, you need to test out your perks. So, I need to find someone else. Give me my Blood Fury? Is that what it's called? Yeah, give it to me. Oh, she's down. That means people are over there. Uh... I see you. I'm not going to tunnel her. Oh, uh, he's so far. Oh, my God. Oh, give me this. Yeah. You know what? Come back here. Give me. You giving it all to me. Look at this. Oh, give me more. I'm just going to chase you just to get this. And then I want to chase a, um, a healthy survivor. All right. 
I'm not going to use my thing yet until I find a healthy survivor. Because I want to try, try it on them. Because I know one puts you in a dying state, but I forgot which one it is. Someone over here. Let me kick this really quickly. Oh, hi. Oh, she's like, nope, never mind. I don't think this works right. Okay, that... I don't know how that works. <laughs> Come back here. I know this can, like... Oh, I thought you were going to keep running. That would have been nice, actually. Wait, come back. Oh, wow, that was... I thought you had to hold M1. So it does put her in a dying state. I thought this whole time I was holding it. You can basically just click it. Oh, my God, this killer is great. Demogorgon's going to have a run for his money for being my killer main because... This guy is great. I don't think his... Oh, I don't have the thing anymore. I wanted to see if it could break pallets, but I don't think it can. Oh my god, just wait until I get add-ons on him and perks. Like, I know he's part of the spirit era, whatever you want to call it. Oh, give me this. But, um... He is so strong. Like, oh my god, why is he so strong? He's probably going to get nerfed, though. At least a part of him is going to get nerfed. I already know how it goes. Every killer gets nerfed after the PTB. I'm j I just want this these blood orbs, girl. I don't even care about you. If you happen to get in the way, then that's just how it's going to be. Oh my god, I can't wait till I get add-ons so that I can, like, make this go way faster. And I don't have to chase people like this. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Oh, which way did you go? Yes. Injured person. Or not injured person. Non-injured person. Yes. I want to do it. I'm addicted already, and I just started. Camilla Ash. I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Why does that take so long? I think I just wasted this. Cause I don't know what else to do with, oh, he left. How does this dash work? Oh, what? How does this dash work? <laughs> Help? I don't know how this works. Help? <laughs> I'm out of it now, but, um... I thought if I just click it, it would go off, and it didn't. They don't have a door open, which is interesting. Ash, come back here. No! Why'd you do this to me, Ash? Let me hit you! Guess I gotta break this. Ash, come back here. And eh, I'll, I'll leave her. I don't know what I want to do, to be honest. Didn't I just... Bro, I'm blind today. I am blind. I see blood. Yes, yes, this is what I need. Please don't leave. Please don't open that door. I want to test my stuff a little bit more. Does this mean that someone was over here? Do these disappear over time? I think they stay. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> but. Oh, there's someone over there. I can hit them and then get more. Oh, she body blocked you, buddy. Yes. 
Well, I don't really want you. Where'd this other girl go? Someone came this way. Where is everyone? Okay, we're trying this again, Ash. I was not expecting that to happen. Okay. <laughs> we don't care about anybody like escaping or anything. We really just want to use our power. And we got to use it a couple times. I need to figure out the dash though. It still kind of confused me a little bit. Oh, hi there, Ash. Well, looks like this is the end of the game. Oh my god, why are we like this? And there he goes. But I don't know where they are. Might as well go to the next game. Okay, Cohen. Don't quite know if this will be a good map for him. So someone told me that the the dash attack, you have to hold it and then run and then hit. And they also say you should hit everyone at first. So that's what I'm trying to do. I don't know how long his lunge is, so I'm like scared to like actually hit I'm just gonna kick this really quickly and I'm gonna go find myself some blood orbs go ahead and pick that up why can't I, I have to be so close to that I don't even care about the person over there I just want I just want all this. I guess we can go after this person. Oh. I guess it doesn't matter now. Yes. Okay, now how does the dash work? You have to do it. Oh my god. Oh, and you can turn. Oh my god. And then you can hit. Oh. It's like a new and Im I don't know where she went. I saw somebody over here. But it's like a new and improved like um what you call it. <laughs> this is kind of fun. But it's like a new and approved um, like shred attack from the Demogorgon. I really like this killer. I haven't even tried the survivor yet. I don't know anything about her perks either. I just know she can lift pallets because I saw people do it. Oh, I, I cannot wait to get um, perks and add-ons. I really cannot wait. Hi there, let me hit ya. I wanna hit ya. Are you gonna throw it down? Yes you are. At least this is out the way, I guess. He's over here now. Oh my god, I got stuck. I love it. Didn't think you were going to run away. Steve. He's going to this pallet. And now I'm just going to hit you. Okay, he has a decent lunge. Yes. See, all the gins are getting done, like... Guys, I'm trying to practice. Do you know how long it takes 
to get in a queue. Okay. Um, I really don't care to get you. But, I mean, I guess you're already here. I really want to find someone who... Oh! She's moonwalking. I really want someone who's not injured. That way we can have some fun with this. But if she goes to a pallet, I'm kind of like... There's no pallet here. Uh, get her! I was not sure if that was going to hit. Oh, I guess as soon as you... Okay, so it's not after you hit someone that your ability goes away. It's once you pick someone up. That's good to know. Because I did not know that. I, I really just want all these. Oh, she has quick and quiet. Give me this. I have to be so close. Well, you unhooked her in front of me, so what did you think was going to happen? Now we can get some from him. And now that's done. Can I find someone else, please? I don't really want to hook her. Okay. I guess I'll just hook her. She probably has D strike, but it's okay. Oh, she doesn't have D strike? Or she missed it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm coming. Okay, I see how this works. Oh my god. I finally got it to work. Oh, I could have picked her up. I didn't even know. I was just like so in shock. Hi there. You want to jump down for me? That is the wrong way. But it's okay. I don't think you know, girl. Oh, so close. I gotta get used to this. It's almost like, um... It's a little bit like Billy's Chainsaw. But it's like... Harder to turn with it. Um, I would say. But interesting. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video. Um... I actually really like this killer. He might end up being my main killer to play with. He's a little difficult to get used to at first, but he's very fun and very strong. <laughs> like once you get all your add-ons, cause I basically play with no add-ons and pretty much no perks. So if you're strong without the use of that, then you're a strong killer. And even though I was trying to get like used to him, <laughs> Uh, I didn't do too well in the games, but I will play more tonight and tomorrow and then the next game I uploaded him Oh best believe we're gonna like kill these survivors all these people who want to gen rush and all that We're gonna get them. Don't don't you worry but Anyways, thank you for watching more videos coming soon. See you in the next one